Hey everyone, it's Alyssa and I'm back with another video. As you can see by the title, this video is how I made mini envelopes to fit in a wallet like this. So this is just a little like aluminum RFID blocking wallet. So it's basically one that like stops people from stealing your card information just by walking by you. But these little cards that are inside would fit in basically any wallet any like standard size wallet. So this is perfect for people that don't want to carry around the large envelopes like these that I use and instead want something smaller and more portable. So I had been wanting for a long time to figure out how I'm going to use up these pieces of paper that are basically left over from when I make the larger envelopes and I kind of just realized that and when I picked up this wallet that came with a matching passport holder, which is actually why I bought it, I decided that it would be perfect, here let me take these out for you guys, that it would be perfect to use this as a cash wallet. So as you can see, there are basically already little like folders in here. You could totally just label these. So like with Sharpie or even just like a cute label maker, like put on here um, gas, groceries, spending, or you could do little mini envelopes. So that is what I've decided to do. And in today's video, I will be teaching you guys how to make these. It's super, super easy. It's just like how I make the regular envelopes, just smaller. So if you would like to see how to make these, stick around for today's video. Okay, so I will be making these <clears throat> out of basically the scraps of the paper from when I make the large envelopes. And just so all of you guys know, I will be offering mini envelopes as well as large envelopes. I'm hoping for an October release over on my Etsy, and I will link my Etsy down below so you can have my shop favorited. But I like to give you guys lots of advanced warning for when my sets will go live. I've done two releases in the past and they've both sold out in under a day um, and, and under a couple of hours actually. Um, so I want to give you guys lots of time to prepare so that hopefully you'll have the best chance at getting your hands on some envelopes. But this is definitely going to be the largest release that I've ever done. So I'm hoping everyone who wants to get their hands on some envelopes will be able to. Okay, so I cut out a piece of paper that is the same size as a credit card. I just didn't want to show you guys my credit card, obviously, or my debit card on camera. But this is just under three and a half inches by like two and a quarter so you have to keep in mind that when you laminate things you do need to leave like basically a seam allowance on each side of probably a total of about an, a half an inch so i'm gonna make my envelopes smaller out of just the paper so that i can leave a nice like seam allowance as i said of the lamination material. So I'm gonna trim this down a little bit more. So these little paper cutters that are like a little straight. Oops. Okay, so that little sample paper was a giant fail. So I just did one out of the actual paper that I'm gonna be using, but I couldn't show you guys cause I was using my credit card as a size guide. So I basically just use the credit card to trim the like width of it and then I folded that piece in half and then used the credit card to try to trim the height. This is the exact size and if you look right now this fits nicely in this little holder right here but as I said earlier you do need to leave some space on the edges for the seam allowance of the lamination sheets. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim this up further so that it's a little bit smaller than a credit card. And when it's laminated, it'll still fit in the little pockets of that wallet. If you just left it like this and then laminated it, it could be, it could end up too big. Okay. 
And so I'm just going to go back and forth, put it in the little pockets and see how much seam allowance I have basically. So I have this all the way to one edge. And there is a good like maybe half an inch closer to like three quarters of an inch of room. So I think that will be perfect once I have it laminated. So let me give you guys the final measurements of this piece of paper. So I'm going to unfold it and this is what you're going to need to cut your paper. So this is four and three eighths of an inch by three and one eighths of an inch. <laughs> so I just make one piece that is this size and then I will use this as like a guide to cut my other pieces. So let me show you. So I'm going to take the back of all of these and mark on that so that way if it's not a perfect cut you're not seeing the, um, the mark on the pattern side of the paper. So let's just go ahead and line this up and then I'm going to mark on both sides. So that is what it looks like when I'm done marking both sides to fit this. So I'm going to go ahead and do that on all of these and then I will cut them out for you guys. So I have all of my little pieces of paper marked to where I need to cut them. And so I'm going to take my paper cutter again and get to cutting. So I'm going to start with this edge. So now both sides are cut and as you can see, it wasn't perfectly cut out here to get rid of that black marker. So that's why we do that on the back side so that the front side doesn't have any marker marks. <laughs> so once you have all of your pieces cut, you're just going to fold them in half. And if you're using like cardstock like I am, you want to make sure you have this bottom seam as tight down as you can. So this is when I use a like credit card or something and tighten that seam. So that'll make it as slim as possible so you get a really tight lamination edge. So that is what I do. And so I'm going to go ahead and cut all of my pieces and then I will show you the lamination process. Okay, so sorry about the reflection, but this is a lamination sheet. I have my laminator over here um, warming up, but I have all of my little pieces cut out and folded and the seams pressed and all of that. So now it's time to put them oops, in the sheet. And so one of these sheets will probably do nine envelopes, but I only have five right now. I usually do five in a set. So if you want to be as like effective as possible, definitely utilize every piece of the lamination. But basically you're just going to place the envelopes in the lamination sheet and I like to press the top ones into the very top of this like top seam of the lamination paper and if you get your hands on some you'll know exactly what I'm talking about and of course I will have linked down below the exact lamination paper and laminator that I've been using for over a year now so that's the first row and then I like to leave a bit of a gap so that both sides have enough lamination sheet material. Okay. 
Okay, so that's how I lay it out. You could totally cut this in your paper cutter before you run it through the laminator to save this, like, what will be unused lamination material. But for the sake of this tutorial, I am not going to do that. Okay, so this is the laminator that I use. It is the Amazon Basics laminator, and I've been using it for over a year now, as I said before. And if you wanna get your hands on it, I just ask that you use my affiliate link in the description. That just helps me generate a little bit of side income for my channel to keep things running smoothly around here. So that would be greatly appreciated. I just get a small percentage of the sale and it doesn't cost anything extra for you. So I will have this linked and the lamination sheets that I use linked down below. But I set it to three mil because that is the thickness of this lamination material. But if you are using five mil, you would flip it over to five mil. But since I'm using three mil, I will go ahead and insert the sheet and get this all laminated. Okay, so now these are laminated and I'm going to start cutting them out. As you can see, there are some pretty big like gaps in between. So this side is pretty darn good. There's not that big of a gap. This side is a lot bigger, but luckily that's the side that there doesn't need to be any lamination on. That's how the envelopes will be open. So it's not really too big of a deal, but I always run these through the laminator again just to like extra seal up the edges. So I'm going to go ahead and cut them right now and then I will run them back through at least once, but sometimes I do like two or three times. It just kind of depends. And these ones ended up really crooked, but that is totally fine. So if you're having a hard time remembering which edge is your open edge, I kind of fold it and look for a bit of white. On this side, you can see the pattern from the paper is continuing on the crease. So in this case, it's like this teal color you can still see on the crease, but then on this side, it is white. So that means this is the side that you want to cut the seal open on. So. I set the edge of the envelope right into the area that will actually be cut. So that way when I cut it, you have an open envelope. So that is where you'll put your money in. Whoa. And then this side will need to stay sealed. And so I will trim up the other edges. So this is basically the finished product, but I am going to run it back through the laminator just to make sure everything is sealed up nice and tight. And there we go. So that is a finished mini envelope. I'm going to go ahead and cut the rest and then I will show you guys the finished product. Okay, so I have all five laminated, cut, all of that good stuff. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how they fit in the wallet, but also how money fits in them. So <clears throat> I would fold up my money like this and then place it in the envelopes. So that would be totally great if you just had like a little laminator and put gas or something on the envelope. Or you could just use Sharpie. Sharpie does erase off of lamination material with um, rubbing alcohol. So then these just slip right in to these little card holders. So I am totally pleased with how these have turned out and I hope you guys liked watching this tutorial and I hope this was helpful for any of you guys who have been putting off starting the cash envelope system because you don't like to carry a large wallet. And you don't need to have one of these like Aluma wallets or whatever. Um, you can just use a regular wallet this is like a Kate Spade wallet. You could have one envelope back here that is nice and easy to access, maybe your grocery money or something. And then the rest could totally fit in these little card slots. So I hope you guys liked this tutorial and I hope if 
you are not a large wallet kind of gal or guy, this is perfect for men too. Um, I hope you will give these little mini envelopes a try. And if you don't want to make them yourself, I will have them for sale on my Etsy shop. Just keep an eye out on my channel for when I give you guys the release date. And I will also talk about it on my Instagram. So make sure you're following me over there for all of the latest news on the envelopes. And I will also give like pattern sneak peeks over there too. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below and hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.